Hey Ross World, my money makes money. CDs, finally. I never really talk about CDs. Those certificates of deposit. For those commercial banks, CDs are insured up to that $250,000, that quarter of a million dollars. So there's a slight contradiction with me with CDs. Now the first thing, I don't like CDs, okay? You put your money into these accounts and they sit and you have to wait for the maturity date. And during that maturity day, you know what the banks are doing? They're investing that money in that CD and they're getting great returns. We're talking about five, seven, nine percent on your money, and they offer you what? A measly two or three percent. This is the thing. Most CDs are compounded. You're thinking daily, monthly, or quarterly. No, they are compounded yearly. So take for instance, you put ten thousand dollars in a CD that is compounded annually at two percent. So the ten thousand dollars a year hits. It compounds, you're getting about $200. Your account may look like 10202 or, or 10203 because actually when it's compounded, it's not the exact 1%, it's about 1.02%. Now, another year goes past, it compounds again. Now your account is sitting at $10,403,404 at a measly 2%. You have to wait for that maturity date. Now, the stock market, those index funds are always preaching about, those ETFs that I'm always preaching about, those exchange traded funds. Now, anywhere from three to four, all the way up to seven and nine percent every year is the average. Now, seven is the average since like 1919 or 1923, the date forgets me, but they have been returning great averages. Why have your money in a two percent or three percent CD where it can be making twice as much? or a quarter more than what you're already receiving. I don't think it's a good deal. I don't like CDs. Now, do you play these CDs? Do they make money? Yeah, they make a little money, but I'd rather take my CD out and break it, okay? And I'm talking about a physical CD and that money CD because it ain't worth to me, okay? It's not worth anything. But a lot of people like CDs. So here's the flip side. Here's a contradiction about CDs. Here's a contradiction. If you a person that doesn't have self-discipline and you know yourself, I understand that, and you're like, I want to take a trip. Um, I want to go to an event and it costs X amount of dollars and I have this chunk of change. I'm going to throw it in a CD because if you take your money out before the maturity date, okay, the anniversary date, you get penalized usually three twelfths of the money that you have in the account. Ouch. That's a lot of money. So most people don't really take out their CDs. They wait for them to mature. And some CDs will allow you to reinvest the amount of money that you have and back into the CD for the additional two or three percent that you have. Now, for people who can't control themselves, who need money locked away, this may be a valuable option. This may be a good option for you because you don't want to lose money. So you just keep it in the CD and you leave it. Now, there are some banks, some commercial banks have what they call no risk CDs. I don't advise it. I don't like them because most of these banks, they do no risk. You're not getting two or three percent. You're not getting four percent. You're getting a measly a measly 1.03, 1.05, 1.3 sometimes on your money because a no risk CD, you can take the money out whenever you want without penalty. So that's why they don't really offer a lot of money because once again, they're using your money to make them money. So why waste your money in a CD other than the reason I already stated? Stash Invest, Acorns, Robinhood, all these great tools for you to use in order to invest. And yes, you absolutely have the time to sit down and watch one, one of my videos. Yes, you absolutely have the time to read about these things, guys, because what you're doing may not be enough. What I'm doing may not be enough. So we have to continually educate ourselves and increase our knowledge base on how to combat all these things that may be deflating our funds. So my opinion with CDs, and uh -uh, not a, not doing it, I don't like them. But for you, if you know yourself and you're just like, man, I'm going to put it in the CD because I know I'm going to spend it, then do so because you're still going to make money. You're just not going to make as much money in the stock market, okay? So this is Ross World where uh, I'm going to throw them damn CDs away, okay? Certificate of deposits. <laughs> I'm out.